Rosalind Martin couldn't believe her eyes. A four-bedroom home wrapped in a big red bow. A Christmas present for her baby brother with no strings attached. You gotta cut the ribbon first. 40-year-old Sergeant Kevin Martin is a transportation specialist. He drives supplies from Kuwait to Baghdad. A dangerous job, and Martin's teenage sons know it. Can't get out of my mind, because, like, he just, he got two friends over there. They just got killed. When Rosalind learned about the home giveaway, she wrote a letter nominating her brother, a father of five, who is having a hard time supporting his family. With finances so scarce, he resorted to the only thing that he had ever known. And as a National Guardsman, he volunteered for active duty. The letter clinched it. When Rosalind found out her brother won, she called him on the phone. It was midnight in Iraq. It sounded like he had to get up and turn on the light. He's like, am I dreaming? And I said, no, you won. And he just went to screaming and <laughs> all. I, I probably woke up half the troops. The home giveaway was the brainchild of Jim Toner, a real estate investor with close friends serving in the military. I wanted to make a big impact for somebody. I wanted to change their life. I wanted it to be something that will remember forever. And, and maybe they'll take that and they'll do it for somebody else. This is awesome. This house will be the best homecoming gift for this family and bring them together. A holiday homecoming with only one thing missing. Sergeant Martin's tour of duty isn't over yet. But well-wishers will gather again next month to say two long-awaited words. Welcome home. And in just a second, we are going to talk with Sergeant Kevin Martin and his sister Rosalind and also Jim Toner, who started the Hope Lives Foundation that got that home to the young sergeant. Well, now, back to that story we were telling you about, this American soldier getting a pretty amazing Christmas gift. We're going to meet all the people involved now, the ones we just told you about. Jim Toner of the Hope Lives Foundation. He joins us from Pittsburgh. Here with me in Atlanta, Rosalind Martin, who persuaded Mr. Toner's foundation to give the house to her brother Kevin. And live from Kuwait, the winner of this home, Sergeant Kevin Martin of the Army National Guard. Welcome to all of you. Merry Christmas. It's a great story to talk about. Sergeant, uh, when you got the news, uh, how did you react? Was it like 3 in the morning when you got the call from your sister? No, it was more like, uh, it was about midnight, and uh, we were all asleep. But uh, <laughs> everybody got up when they heard me start hollering, and I couldn't believe it. I ain't won nothing in my life, so <laughs> it was hard for me to... Um, I mean, some people uh, just say that, but I really haven't won anything in my life, did, did, and I just didn't know how to react, so I hollered. Did, did you know? Did you know what your sister was up to? Yeah, I pretty much. She was uh, my other sister. They can't keep a secret, so <laughs> it, it got it got out what they were up to. So, Roz, let, let me, uh, no doubt, I can just imagine, my gosh, midnight getting that call. Roz, you know your brother so well. You love your brother yes, so much. You were so excited to see him pop up on the screen. He's got five kids. He's never won anything in his life, like he said. He's never even owned his own home. <laughs> exactly. He, he laughs. He's got a good spirit about that. I got to tell you, Kevin, I'm impressed. Um, when you found out about this contest for a free home, uh, what did you do? You wrote a letter, right? Exactly. Um, when I found out about the contest, I kind of went online and um, looked in um, the daily news that comes online and found out about the contest and I said, this is the break my brother needs. I mean, first of all, he's in love with um, the city of McKeesport anyway. And so being that we're from McKeesport and everything, I just thought it would be a great opportunity to enter him with my fingers crossed and praying and that this would be the break that he needed. And I am so grateful that it happened for well, him. Well, you wrote this beautiful letter. Matter of fact, there's a part here in the letter. It says, Sergeant Kevin Martin does so much for his children, sibling, nieces, nephews. And yet when he comes home, he doesn't have a place to call his own. What's so special and unique about your brother that compelled you to do this? Well, first of all, my brother brother, um, although he's my baby brother, he is the one that kind of keeps the family together. He always, he's very family oriented and come on, let's do family activities and, and all of that. And any way that he can help you, he'll do that. He, he never turns anybody away from myself. If I needed anything, he would give it. If my, my sister needed anything, he would give it. Nieces and nephews all know that if they can get 
uh, if they need something, they can get it from Uncle Kevin. So he is just very family oriented and he really deserved a, a, a real break in life. And so I was just really happy to write this letter and I was just really happy to just share with the, the world now <laughs> what a great brother I have and he, he, he's sharing and you know what you make happen for others God makes happen for you. Oh well Kevin I'm hearing about how wonderful you are how about your sister what an amazing woman what was it like growing up with her and and just the, the love you have for your family I mean you sound like an absolute angel. <laughs> yeah well my sister is actually the strength of the family she's very um she gives lots of good advice to um, us, you know, and she keeps us together. She also works hard at keeping the family together, and um, she keeps us in due guards with, uh, you know, with, with God. She's a, a pastor, and um, I go to her for a lot of advice, a lot of things that I was going through in life. I would go to her. I mean, who else would I, why else would I go to anyone else? And I have a sister that's a pastor. Well, Jim, I, I can't think of two better people to be involved with you and your organization. Tell me why you decided to do this contest, and how did you find the home? Did you build it? I mean, give me the background. I, I think part of it was just plain insanity. <laughs> I decided to, uh, you know, stick my neck out and say, hey, I'm going to give a house away. But I'm a real estate investor, and um, we, my company, Real Estate Riches, teaches people how to invest in real estate. And every week, my daughters watch Extreme Home Makeover, and it's their favorite show. And I, and I watch the program, I think, you know, I could do that. So I decided to take it from there, but the, the catch was, well, who do we give it to? And when we talked about it with my board members from the Hope Lives Foundation, we couldn't think of anybody else than a returning veteran that would be more deserving for a, for a home. We just wanted to give somebody a fresh start. Was there anything in the letter that, that really just tugged at your heart or, or people on the, on the board, Roz's letter? His letter stood out. It was just hands and above the rest. It, the second you read it, I'll never forget when my wife read it the first time at our kitchen table, she just started crying right away and I, and I said, what are you reading? And she showed me the letter and it was the same one that I had read. It, just everything about it. We were looking for a selfless individual, someone that was in, uh, it, who was in the most need, and somebody that really could use not not a hand up, but just not a handout, I should say, but just a hand up. And he certainly fit the bill for that. Kevin, you sound like a pretty amazing father. Five kids. How do you do it? And how do you stay in Ro in Iraq and stay in that fight while thinking about those kids every day? Uh, I try to um, spend time with. Uh, with them as much as I can, you know, and you know, we're living in different uh, cities right now. But um, they come when they do come to stay with me or whatever. Um, now we have a home to stay in, and they're looking forward to it, and I'm looking forward to it. And um, I just can't wait. I just can't wait to get my kids up under, up under the you know one roof and hey, show my love for them. Well, it seems like you deserve it, Roz. Uh, I, I can't think of a better person to write a letter about. Pretty awesome. It, it really is. But I also wanted to say, too, that the, although I wrote the letter, it was the, the composition of it was uh, part of both me and my sister. And so I was just glad that we just kind of got together and put our thoughts together and pour out our love on paper. So it was a great, it was a great uh, thing to do, and I'm just happy that he won. <laughs> it's an awesome payoff. All right, Sergeant Kevin Martin, you got to come home safely to those five children, this wonderful sister, and the rest of your, your family, and uh, tell us how the home is yes. when you come home. All right, we can't wait to see you uh, enter it for the first time. Definitely. I can't wait to see you guys either. When I get home, I really want to see, I really want to meet Jim. I definitely want to meet Jim. Well, you That's will. a great guy, and um I really want to meet this guy. This is unbelievable. You made a dream come true for me. You're going to meet him. Seriously. Unfortunately, well, we lost him on the satellite. I apologize uh, for that. But I promise I'll let right. him know exactly what you said. And uh, we will have all three okay. of you back. Uh, thank you so much, Kevin, Jim thank Toner you. as well. Thanks, Ross. Thank you. Love you. <laughs> I love you, too. There we go. Got to share the love. Right. Merry Christmas, Kevin. All right. Merry Christmas to you guys, too. Thanks, Rosalind, very much.